Hey guys, you're watching another episode of The Point with me, your host, Shannon Wiggins. Let's take a look at what's been going on here in the city of East Point. The city shares the accomplishments they've made over the past year with residents. Mayor Dina Holiday Ingram presented the 2018 State of the City Address on April 30th. She was introduced by former Mayor Patsy Jo Hilliard. She highlighted the accomplishments made by each department, council, and announced future projects. East Point sits at the door of the world's busiest airport, and our connection to the airport gives us access to people from all across the world. As we continue to experience growth in residents and businesses, it is critical that we are laser focused on creating and sustaining an inclusive community. We must continue to harness the strength and celebrate the rich cultures in our cities. So at first glance, our demographics are this, 76% African American, 16% white, and 11% Hispanic. To view the mayor's State of the City address, visit the city's website at www.eastpointcity.org under the Newsroom tab. Councilwoman Stephanie Gordon hosts a law enforcement workshop focused on raising autism awareness. She partnered with the Georgia Municipal Association during Georgia Cities Week to host the workshop focused on law enforcement responses to mentally and developmentally challenged individuals with special recognition to autism spectrum disorder. This workshop was held during National Autism Awareness Month in April. Officers from around the South Metro area were in attendance to gain a better understanding of how to interact with individuals who are autistic. East Point Solicitor General Antavius Weems moderated a panel discussion where officers shared their training experience on how to interact with mentally and developmentally challenged individuals. Today we have local elected officials in law enforcement from across the metro region, including Gainesville, Lovejoy, Fairburn, the city of South Fulton, of no course Atlanta. We have today a special guest who have input into the workshop, um, Moki Messias, who is with the Atlanta Pre-Arrest Diversion Program, because we want to speak to solutions, not only the issues. We also have law enforcement representatives from the city of Atlanta, the Fulton County Sheriff's Department, and East Point. The city declared April 23rd, 2018 as Autism Awareness Day in East Point. During the workshop, Councilwoman Gordon presented a proclamation to Janet Williams, the community outreach manager with Autism Speaks and mother of an autistic son. Thousands of people laced up their running shoes in East Point to support the Sickle Cell Foundation of Georgia. They hosted the 39th annual Sickle Cell Road Race Walk in East Point at Tri-Cities High School on April 14th. V103's Larisha Harris and WSB-TV's Dave Huddleston and Mark Winnie pumped up the crowd before the race began. Runners ran the challenging 7K course and walkers walked the scenic 4K course. Funds raised from the race will support the foundation's Camp New Hope for children with sickle cell disease. The sickle cell race means to me an opportunity to bring about knowledge and knowledge is power. So anyone who may not be aware of the sickle cell disease, the traits, the characteristics, how painful this disease is for those who have it, they now know, they're now aware of it and people can just spread the word and let people know, let others know about the importance of being knowledgeable about this disease. And also when they come, you just meet other people and hear their stories. So it's very important for everybody to work together to again to coordinate so that they can have the knowledge of what's going on. This is the fourth year the city of East Point has hosted the race. The East Point Parks and Recreation Department hosted their first annual awards ceremony known as the East Beast on April 28th. This year's event was hosted by Cameron and Avery. Congratulations to all of the award recipients. The East Point Fire Department continues to save lives by making sure that residents have the resources they need to be healthy. They hosted their 13th annual Community Health Expo on May 5th. The Health Expo kicked off with a parade featuring the Fire Department, Chief Rosemary Cloud, Mayor and Council, Unique Corvettes of Atlanta Incorporated, and the Georgia Prince Hall Shriners. Residents receive free health screenings for their blood pressure, cholesterol, glucose, and eye exams. Chief Rosemary Cloud served as the 2018 Health Marshal. She started this health expo under her tenure as Fire Chief for the City of East Point. 
in the early years of the fire department, all we did was put fires out. But we have learned to shift that dynamic to tradition through uh, prevention. And we want to make sure that we get the information out to the neighborhood. And we learned a long time ago, the best way to get information to the mother and the father is to teach the kids what we want them to know. So the children of East Point are our biggest and greatest supporter. But the reason why we do this health fair is to get grown-ups out here and hopefully get tested. A special thanks to this year's Health Expo sponsors, Duke Realty Corporation, Brentag, SSC Industries, and Kiku. Residents and visitors got a chance to see and taste all that the city of East Point has to offer. The Taste of East Point in the South Metro area was held May 5th in the Downtown Commons. It's a showcase of food, art, business, and community. People enjoy tastings from local restaurants, live music, arts, and crafts. It is a pleasure to see so many families out. Um, oftentimes, I've been in this city over 20 years. They, it's, people think it's for singles. But we're having the opportunity here for our families, for children from different schools to come out and just be in the community in a safe environment. I'm definitely looking forward to next year's event. Well, that's all we have for you for this month's show. Don't forget to download the city's free app, Access East Point, to report non-emergency issues to the city. You can also check out our monthly newsletter called The Verge for these stories and more. They're under the newsroom tab on our website at www.eastpointcity.org. I'm Shannon Wiggins, and we'll see you next time on The Point.